Hello guys and welcome to this week's episode of You've Got Issues. I'm your host, Idia Aysian, and this is the show where you send in your questions and with the help of my guests, we give you tips and advice. Remember, we're not experts, but two heads are better than one, or in this case, three. Guys, today we're going to be talking about photography, which is serious business, because you know how I love to slay in front of the camera. And I know that there's a lot of people interested in this field. So we have two renowned photographers here with us today to help us answer some of your questions. Toby Ababade, who is the owner of Osbald Studios. Welcome to the show. Nice having you. Thank you for being here. And I also have with me the one and the only Jerry Rotimi. What's up, what's up? What's up? Kill him pop. Nothing much. So we're going over to our first question for the day. But first, I want to ask you why Osbot Studios? Uh, I got the name when I was like seven. Um, it was given to me by my brother. He's late now. Oh. So, so I had to keep the name. Oh, so he used to call you Osbot. Do you know why? Nah, I never knew. But I know the meaning. It means uh, born, to, born to be great. Born to be great. The Spanish and... name. Oh. But was your brother older or younger? Older. He taught me how to do actually. Oh wow. Amazing, amazing. I'm sorry to hear about yeah, it's your loss. Right. And also, Jerry, you have built quite the name for yourself in this industry by shooting lots of campaigns and with lots of celebrities. Can you tell us a little bit about how and why you got into photography? Um when I got into photography at first, it was just to be honest, it was just for the for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And I had um a fellow photographer mm -hmm. then who I just like to go with. To be honest, all that I wanted to do was see the stars because you know when you're done with school and everything, you want to be a big boy but then you still want to roll with all these big big people. You just want to see them take pictures yeah, yeah. for the gram, Facebook then. Yeah. So I used to go with him and then um, a friend of mine gave me a Fujifilm, a Fujifilm camera, so just one small camera and then I used to take with me to document my own movements with this guy. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? So over time I always go with him, I always go with him, and somehow I just I just felt man there's more to this than just and I just I just picked it up. So it was a calling that both of you didn't know was waiting to happen. Yeah to be honest because yeah. I mean I was not looking at it like it's something I want to do. Everybody when you leave school you, you don't want to be use your degree to get a yeah. job or something. So I was just there for just the fun of it to buy time. But, yeah. you know, it just grew and then I just decided to pick it up. Okay, guys, so it's time to take our first question for the day. Let's hear it from the board. I'm an amateur portrait photographer who tries to mimic pictures of professional photographers. However, I never get my desired results. I know a lot goes into getting a stunning portrait. Please, can you tell me or even demonstrate the basic steps I need to take in achieving a good picture? So people get their styles over a period of time, do you understand? And you can't believe that you can just get that immediately because you just see. And then for 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 me, I feel that you there are so many things that have to go into mm -hmm. a perfect picture. You can. Some people believe that, oh, you have to have the best cameras, but then it's not always like that. Most For me, because I'm a portrait photographer, most importantly, I believe that your lighting is what does most of the, most of the job, do you understand? Once you have a good lighting, do you understand? And then, you have a good team because I believe for you to have a good picture, you have to have a good subject, you have to have a good makeup artist, you have to have a good stylist. There are so many things that come together for you to get a good picture. So, um, I, I think for me, I think it's perfectly wrong and it will take you a long time. So, for some people, it's short depending on how much you work into it, but then it will take, I think it will take you a period of time for you to be able to get your own style. But the most important thing is for you to just continue doing what you are good at or what you've learned and then improve on it. Watch tutorials mm -hmm. and then that way you would, you know, improve. Okay. Thanks, Jerry. So, Toby, tell us, how do you get the perfect picture? There's no particular way of getting a perfect picture. And like Jerry said, like Jerry said, you have to actually create your style because, you know, photography nowadays is, is saturated. Mm -hmm. That style is what will make you different from yeah. the crowd, you know. You can't just say, oh, uh, I saw Prince Mason's beauty shoot, oh, I want to do exactly the same thing. You can say you want to do it just to learn, mm -hmm. but it doesn't. it's not even right for you to even post it because that's like plagiarism of sort, yeah. do you understand? So if you are copying someone's work, the best you can do is, okay, look at the picture, try and get the light set up from it if you can't ask the person. Mm -hmm. 
like how do you do this light setup mm. just try and get the light set on from the picture and you can tell your team oh i want something like this but it shouldn't be the exact thing that is if you want to do something like that but our advice that it's it's, it's a very long thing just take time create your own style watch youtube tutorials there are lots of youtube tutorials you know that will actually set you from the crowd because that's the best way to start photography if you, if you are saying oh okay i want to do this person style then in two years you won't actually get clients because okay i'm seeing like like that person's younger brother so i would rather just give the owner of the original style so that's that's my advice to the person okay so i completely agree with what they've said as so of course they're the professionals um i don't think that you should mimic somebody's work but i think there is such a thing as inspiration yes. so um i completely agree with them that you know it's almost even plagiarism to want to copy a picture exactly as you've seen it so if you want to stand out or get the perfect type of pictures i think the first thing is What's your target? Do you like shooting landscape? Do yeah, you like shooting yeah. people? Do you like shooting events? And it's about identifying the kind of photographer you want to be, first of all. And then I think one thing we notice with like photographers that stand out is they all have either a way that they shoot or either a way that they edit. Or the light, or the yeah, way that they edit. Exactly. Or the way they so you may grade. see that, you know, somebody's pictures are usually more, I don't know if it's saturated yeah, or graded. Yeah, yeah. Another person's one is just very um, smooth. Um, so airbrush so yeah. yeah so it's um very very different processes for people and you have to find out what you're really good at and stick to that and be consistent